With all the moments a camera can capture, everything comes down to one word, vision. Photography establishes a closer look at one split second of the world. Now, what is photography? Photography is the art or practice of taking and processing photographs. Essentially, this is a hobby or occupation that can be used all around the world. The first photographic image was captured by Joseph Nips in 1827. He used a camera obscura, which was a tool designed by artists, to draw. Nips images were the prototype for the modern photograph. However, Nips' process took far too long and was soon replaced by Louis Daguerre. In 1839, the rights to the Daguerre were sold to the French government and the, right, and the process was published in a booklet. By 1850, there were over 70 Daguerre studios in New York City. Regardless of the quick success of the Daguerre, there were some flaws, such as an inability to print quick photographs and a frail material it was printed on made it hard to frame these photographs. Therefore, by the Civil War, the Daguerre process was replaced by the wet plate process, which is where a process where paper is printed with silver iodine to create negatives and produce a photograph. In 1861, the newest photographic technology was released, called the wet plate photography. The mark of a new technology opened up ports for many photographers to try capturing new moments with this process. With this being said, with the start of the Civil War in 1861, and being the first war to be photographed, the battlefields became a new center of attention for the ideal photograph. Using the wet plate process to take snapshots of the battlefields, the image was captured onto pieces of plate glass that are coated in chemicals. Some of the chemicals included colloidine, proxylin, and silver nitrate, which were toxic when used on the photographic plates. Specifically, colloidine is a mixture of alcohol and ether, which is extremely flammable. This process of capturing photos was very difficult. As you can see, it was an extreme hassle to carry the equipment and set it up to capture the best shots possible. The hassle photographers went through had them capturing shots of the aftermath of a battle. Inevitably, a lot of the photos were intense, as they included bodies of those killed in the war, as well as the distraught brought upon the environment. Some photographs of the time are even said to have been staged to make the war appear even worse than it might have actually been. Many photographers captured images of civilians, military personnel, military equipment, and heart-wrenching snapshots of aftermath battlefield scenes. Photographers also captured images of families' loved ones before going to war. Oftentimes, these were the only memories the family had of their loved ones. The photographs taken during the Civil War were used as propaganda, newspapers, and were posted in galleries. The exposure of the public to the horrifying images of countless dead bodies lying in a field changed the way war was perceived. Before, war was almost glorified by literature. Due to the Civil War photographs, People came to realize the true terror of war, including the immense amount of hate and death that arises from war. Additionally, photographs depicted the lives of soldiers and the hardships faced by the military for the first time. With all these photographs being published, people felt many emotions, including hate against the opposing side. With the photography business growing, more and more images were captured. Many photographers dedicated their lives and risked their lives to photographing the war. The infamous photographers during the Civil War were led by Matthew B. Brady, who was appointed by Abraham Lincoln to follow troops around and capture the significant moments of war. Essentially, Brady went on to hire multiple men, which made work much more efficient with the tedious wet plate process. Essentially, all of these photographers put their best foot forward, among many others, to capture the best shots possible. Additionally, photographs are now posted on a larger scale where they can reach the attention of even more people. Since photography first started, capturing video footage has become even more prominent. These videos have provided a real graphic and a real-life aspect to war. As photography over the years has improved and further developed over time, we can expect multiple prospects for the future. Essentially, there will be more real-life footage of wars and more high-definition photos. We can also expect documentaries of war veterans who can discuss and unravel the truths of battlefields. Inevitably, photography has shaped the world and given us a better understanding of both the work of art and the secrets of war. Despite the intense images of war that are captured, it helps bring greater respect for the soldiers who represent America today.